Okay, so the next question that we have on the menu today is asking us, um, it presents the situation where we have three point charges arranged in an equilateral triangle. Uh, they have x, y coordinates at um, 0, 3, uh, 0, negative 3, and 5.2, 0. Their charges are, uh, let's actually draw this out because this diagram is a little bit confusing. Okay, so let's suppose this is the origin. This is uh, 3 up. This is 3 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.2, like that. Three centimeters. Three centimeters. And this distance here is 5.2 centimeters. And they each are going to have 30 degrees and 30 degrees here, because they said it's the equilateral triangle, so it's got to be uh, it's got to be like that. Every angle has to be 60. Okay, so we have Q1 up here, Q2, Q3, Q3. Okay, so uh, the charges that are given to us is. Q1 is three microcoulombs. I know that um, the formatting gets a little bit weird sometimes, so that means micro. So equals positive three microcoulombs. Q2 is negative three microcoulombs. And Q3 is going to be negative six microcoulombs. Okay, they each have a mass of 2 grams, and um, Q1 and Q2 are fixed, and uh, Q3 is free to move. So, which it's asking us which direction is Q3 going to move. And we know that mass is equal to um, 2 grams, so 0 0.002 kilogram. Okay, so... Um, this is pretty much a dynamic situation, and it's asking us um, which direction is Q3 moving, what is the magnitude of the force, and what is the acceleration. Okay, so um, once we have all the forces necessary, we can get all of these. So that, that should be our first plan of action on how to address this situation. Okay, so let's draw a free body diagram. And it said that Q1 and Q2 are fixed, so um, we don't really need to worry about them. We just need to worry about Q3. So, if this is the horizontal, we know that Q1 is positive and Q3 is negative. Okay, so I'm going to need to draw that arrow the other way. We know that, let's call this F q1 okay because that's the force as a result of q1 and it's going to be attracting because uh q1 is negative is positive and q3 is negative so opposite signs they got to be attracting q2 on the other hand is going to have a um acceleration that is um the same or that is repulsive because q3 is negative q2 is negative they're going to be repulsed from each other so um that angle that is going to be an arrow like this so let's call it f q 2 and both of these are going to be an angle of 30 degrees and angle 30 degrees okay so um pretty much f q 2 as an angle as a vector is going to be the magnitude of f q 2 multiplied by um cos 30 in the i direction plus um, sine 30 in the j direction okay that that'll be like our um 
breaking this down into a magnet uh, magnitude and a unit vector this will be FQ2 and um, we know that FQ1 um, let's have our set up our coordinate system like this so this is uh, Y is going to be associated with J and X is going to be associated with the I and we do it like this so you know that FQ1 as a vector is going to be the magnitude of FQ1 multiplied by well it's going to go in the negative x direction so that's going to be negative um, cos 30 in the i direction plus uh, sine 30 in the j direction and sine 30 um, as, as you can see they're they're kind of going the same way and um, let's actually think about this for a moment um, we know that these are the only forces on here that these are the only forces that q3 is going to experience okay so um we can actually write this out as as so so we know that q f net is going to be the vector sum of f q1 plus f q2 and f q1 is going to be f q1 um negative cos 30 i plus sine 30 j plus just writing it down here because um space is a little bit tight uh f q 2 and this is going to be uh, positive cos 30 in the i direction plus sine 30 oops sine 30 degrees in the j direction okay so let's uh, actually see what fq1 and fq2 are going to be like let's just find their magnitudes okay because we have their directions we don't really need to worry about them that much now from the diagram we need to get the radial distance between them and the radial distance between them hopefully it should be kind of clear it's, it's going to be this distance and we know that r that, let's just call that r is going to be the Pythagoras theorem type situation of 3 squared plus 5.2 squared handy dandy calculator will tell us to, will tell that to us 3 squared plus 5.2 squared is equal to pretty much 6.0 um, I'm, I'm just going to treat it as 6.0 because uh, oh it's an equilateral triangle right so if there's three going upwards um, like if three there and three here and it's an equilateral triangle that has to be six okay so that makes uh makes sense makes sense to me makes sense beautiful so we know that the r is going to be uh, six so um, to calculate um, since q1 and q2 Q2 and because they're they're gonna have the same R value right so that R is gonna be the same as that R and R1 is equal to R2 they must have the same magnitude of f of force because the electric force is equal to k q q over r squared everything is the same between them those two like their q's their absolute values are the same so the magnitude is going to be the same okay so essentially the magnitude of f q1 is equal to the magnitude of f q2 so let's just call that f q 
Okay, so um, to rewrite our equation, f net is equal to um, now both since fq is equal fq one is equal to fq two, we can just factor them out of both. So this could just be fq is equal to negative cos 30i plus sine 30j plus cos 30i plus sine 30j. Now, as you can see here, this guy and this guy are the same. One's positive, one's negative. So zeroed out. Okay, let's, uh, I'm not sure why we scrolled horizontally there. Let's bring it back. Okay, now given that those are zeroed, we can pretty much just uh, chop them out of the equation. See you later, alligators. And given that, we know that our F net is pr pretty much going to be perfectly vertical. It's just going to be FQ times uh, whoops. Let's uh, erase that equal sign right there. It's going to be FQ times sine times 2 sine 30 in the J direction. Okay, and um, as you can see here, the um, uh, those two signs, they, they just add together. So that's why it becomes 2. Okay, so fq, we know that that is going to be um, k, little q, big q, oh, uh, or let's just say q1 and q3. Now q1 and q2 are the same, um, same in magnitude, and as a result they're going to be in the same direction. And here it's going to be the force is, um, is r squared times 2 sine 30 degrees in the j direction and we know that q1 is uh q1 was given as 3 microcoulombs equals 3 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs q3 was given to us as negative 6 Uh, let's just do absolute values for now because our, our signs are associated with our directions and our directions are kind of given by our, our unit vectors. We just got to think about it uh, a little bit afterwards to uh, make sure that we're all clear about that. This is going to be 6 microcoulombs equals to 6 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. R we calculated as 6 centimeters. Another way we can write that is 0 0.06 meters. And um, K is Coulomb's constant, and that's just 9 times 10 to the 9. Um, sine th 2 sine 30 equals 2 times 1 half, which is equal to 1. So um, we can actually just cross that out. Oops, that was supposed to be a different color. So that and that and just one okay so um, given this we can get our f debt value or we can sub in our numbers 9 times 10 to the 9 coulombs constant k q1 is 3 times 10 to the negative 6 q3 is 6 times 10 to the negative 6 and this will be um, divided by r which we know is 0 0.06 meters squared and the 2 sine 30 sine 30 is 0 0.5 2 times 0 0.5 is 1 so we don't need to write that and this will just be all in the j direction okay so let's uh calculate that asap fast and get a numerical result for it okay so 9 
times 10 to the power 9 times 3 times 10 to the power negative 6 times 6 times 10 to the power of negative 6 all divided by 0 0.06 squared. Our result is going to be F net is equal to 45 newtons, whoops, not 4n, Forty-five newtons in the j direction. Now let's just look back to our diagram real fast. Um, so we know that it's going to be attracted towards the q upwards, and it's going to be repulsed by the q, and that's also going to push upwards. So uh, being in the positive um, j direction, this makes perfect sense. Okay. So this is our 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 force, right? So we know that the direct. What is the direction that the force? Um, is Q3 going to move? Q3 is going to move straight up. Going to move straight upwards. Now the magnitude of the force, well, um, 45 newtons. So that's a uh, fairly straightforward. And the magnitude of the acceleration. So I'll, I'll just write out to be... Um, you know, as if we're on an exam. Force magnitude on uh, Q3 is 45 newtons. And acceleration, we know that F is equal to M A. Okay, now why is my screen, why is my software being uncool, be cool? We all know that F equals M A. A is equal to the force divided by the mass. The force is 45 newtons, that's a magnitude. And the mass is going to be, uh, it was given to us as two grams so that's 0 0.002 where that line come from bruh software is tripping out zero point zero two uh wait zero grams okay zero point zero zero two kilograms so it's acceleration because I expect this to be a very quick acceleration. 45 divide 0 0.002. This is going to be 22,500 meters per second squared in the J direction. Okay, because the acceleration is always going to be in the same direction as the force. Force is going straight upwards in the J direction. Um, acceleration will also be going straight up in the acceleration so um, another way that we could write this is our acceleration is equal to 22.5 kilometers per second squared in the j direction okay so that will be our final acceleration acceleration of Q3. Okay, cool. So um, that would conclude this question. Um, and we got precisely the same answer as the stuff here, so that's awesome. Above solution is good. Um, would be better to mention how the x component cancels out but otherwise it's awesome okay so we're kind of running out of time for this session so i'm going to wrap this up
So those are all the questions that we have time for today. If you enjoyed today's Q&A and would like to be notified of when we do this next, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell below. If you're interested in submitting your own questions, we have links in the video description to help you with that. And remember, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you really like the video, share this video with your friends. I hope today was a good time. This has been Millen from One Class, and don't forget, the physics is always fun. Don't forget the physics. Take care. Have an amazing day. Thank <laughs> you.